Hello and welcome to News Daily. I'm Sam Gaston sitting in for Sarah Allen on a day in which Collingwood gained another new player. Chris Mayne is now a magpie after the free agent signed a four-year deal. The 27-year-old toured his new home at the Holden Centre today and took time out to chat to Collingwood Media. You know, first time putting this on, uh, it's pretty exciting and pretty humble about it all. Um, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to build my future as an AFL footballer and, and come to such a, a powerful club with a very strong fan base. And, you know, looking at the list, really excited about, you know, the, the possibility of the future and, you know, playing finals footy, which is, you know, every AFL player's kind of dream to do. You'll definitely see someone that doesn't give up. I'll be fierce at the ball. I'll stick my head over it. I'll chase and tackle all day. Um, it's a fresh start for me. It's an opportunity that I'll definitely take with both hands and couldn't be more grateful uh, for the Collingwood Football Club to give me this opportunity and to really uh, embrace it. And, and I hope the fans the, and everyone involved in the club really embrace me and we build a connection um, for bigger and better things in the, in the future to come. Well, before securing Maine later in the day, Collingwood List Manager Derek Hine spoke to SEN Breakfast this morning. Hine all but ruled out the Magpies making a play for Brisbane Lions captain Tom Rockcliffe. Tom, he's, uh, he's been out in our discussions, but it's highly unlikely we'll go down that road at this point in time. Has he, has he said that he wants to come to Collingwood? To no, you guys? No, no, not at all. I mean, you know what it's like this time on the New York, that um, there's numerous players that that um, that come up in discussions for this management and so on, and it's um, and again, you know, Tom is just one of those, one of about another half a dozen or so players that have come up through that, have those discussions. The big AFL news today centred around a potential move which would see Hawthorne captain Sam Mitchell join the West Coast Eagles in 2017. Mitchell this morning said that a move west has been in the works for a while and a future at the Eagles could involve a coaching role. Now as a contracted player, West Coast will have to trade for Mitchell. We'll wait and see how that plays out in the coming days. Away from the AFL trade period and today saw the AFL Women's League draft take place in Melbourne. 19 women joined our five existing magpies with first pick Nicola Stevens coming from Melbourne University. She spoke to the media shortly after being drafted. Here's what she had to say about becoming a magpie. It's absolutely incredible. I think they really are the benchmark in, in sport in Melbourne and it's really good to be able to have access to the facilities that they have and just be able to share that same space as the men and the women. Yeah. Uh, yes, I started playing when I was about nine years old at uh, Auskick and then played junior boys football at um, Pasco Vale and continued my way through youth girls football and been lucky enough to have the opportunities that I've been provided with in um, playing for the Western Bulldogs in the exhibition matches and now I'm a pie. Well, that's all the news from the Holden Centre and around the AFL on day three of the NAB AFL trade period. Stay tuned to collingwoodfc.com.au for more off-season news as it continues to break. Go Pies!